gone through the beginner stages i'm sure at this point a lot of you have heard of most of the basic concepts about trading but you open your pc try to analyze the market try to take certain trades but you realize that anytime you open the charts it almost feels like you are dyslexic it makes it very difficult for you to actually be able to interpret the charts but as a beginner the foundation part is extremely important as a forex trader your success as a trader depends extremely on the foundation on which is why it takes so much time in teaching beginners a lot i get a lot of beginner traders tell me anytime they open their charts they don't really understand what is happening on the market why price is going this way why the colors of the candlesticks are what they are today's video is a complete beginner guide as to how to do technical analysis as a beginner if you can't wait for me to start this video i need you to be part of my youtube family all you need to do to be part of this family is to look down below like comment and subscribe and bam you're part of our family on youtube for life so there are a few concepts we'll be looking at today the very first one we're talking about is a platform we use for technical analysis which is trading view if you've watched all my youtube videos you realize that this is the main platform i actually use anytime i'm analyzing the charts anytime i'm trying to find a trade or anytime i'm trying to break down a trade i've actually taken with my community before i discovered trading view the main platform we're actually doing this analysis on was on an mt4 the meta trader 4 and then the meta trader 5. what makes the trading view much more advantageous is that you can literally do everything on trading view and then your analysis as well is saved indefinitely there's actually a link in my description which takes you straight to the website of trading view where you can easily create your account download the trading view platform start using it there's actually a video on my channel which explains in detail how you can actually set up your trading view to have it look extremely professional and it also explains in detail all the various tools you use for your technical analysis the second concept you also be looking at is charts so the chart is basically what explains price movement on the market the chart is purely a depiction of what price does on the market then the next one is candlesticks what are candlesticks how did candlesticks come about and the history about candlesticks is, is that it was actually invented by a japanese rice merchant in the early 1700s he was actually the first person who started using candlesticks who started taking trades with candlestick and then we implemented candlesticks in his trading which has actually trickled down to all of us and then we are all now using candlesticks as a result of this single rise merchant it is the best tool which depicts price movement on the market so if you look on my screens you can actually see a random pair like nzd usd and you can see i have bullish candles which are labeled in blue bearish candles which are also labeled in red so we actually have two main types of candlesticks the very first one is the bullish ones and then we have the bearish candlesticks on this side so i'm going to be explaining in detail the various parts of the candlestick how they open and then how they close as well i'm going to be making the color of the bullish candles blue I'm going to be making the color of the bearish candles as well red so these are the various parts of the candlestick you see we have the bullish candle here and then we have the bearish candle here as well what a bullish candle does is that it basically represents upward movement in prices so if the overall direction of price on a particular time frame is rising upwards that particular candlestick is normally a bullish candle it normally opens at the bottom closes at the top and you have the wicks at the top you have the wicks at the bottom a wick always happens when the market goes to a certain price leaves and never goes back to that particular price again same happens for the bearish candlestick as well with a bullish candle it opens at the bottom goes down leaves that's why it leaves the wick at the bottom goes all the way up to give you the highest price within that particular time frame then it comes down to close here for the bearish candle you realize that normally price is downward as well so it opens at the top closes at the bottom then what happens next you have the body in here highest price lowest price down here and then you have the wick which is a long something like the stick you see on top of it just like a normal candle a bearish candle is also a simple representation of downward movement in price within any time frame so you realize if you go to the 15 minutes time frame every candlestick you see represents what 15 minutes of price movement you can see the time on the bottom from 12 45 a.m to 1 a.m the market was moving down then it opened here it went up slightly then it came all the way down it never came back here which is why it left this week here it went all the way down here so every single candlestick you see is simply telling the story of price in that particular time frame it means that if you go to the one hour time frame every single candlestick is what signifying price movement in an hour if you go to the daily time frame every candlestick you see is what signifying price movement every day weekly every week and then monthly as well signifying price movements every month you cannot understand technical analysis without knowing how candlesticks came about and then how they work now you want to know what technical analysis is what is technical analysis the simplest definition i give for technical analysis is that it is the act of using past price movement to make a forecast or a speculation as to what is going to happen in future so just using the past to predict the future that is what basically technical analysis is that is what we actually use to take trades anytime we open the chart so we've explained what a chart is we've explained what candlesticks is we've also explained what technical analysis is what we want to do next is actually give you a few strategies you can actually use to take
take trades. As a beginner, there are two main things I want you to understand. The first thing I want you to understand is how to identify trends on the market. Either the market is an uptrend or a downtrend. We sometimes have a range in markets, but it's not relevant at this point. All you need is to know how to identify an uptrend and then how to also identify a downtrend. Then I'm going to show you a few chart patterns you can actually use to take trades for yourself. So we want to identify what trends are, which is going to lead us into the very first strategy I want you to identify and then I want you to start using as a beginner. So now let's start with our uptrend and then let's have our downtrend on the other side here as well. So anytime I talk of an uptrend, an uptrend is any trend which has what we call a higher high, higher low formation. There's no need for you to be alarmed. I'll explain what it is. And then a downtrend is any trend which basically has an overall formation of what we call a lower high and then a lower low formation. This is the simplest definition I can actually give you for an uptrend and then a downtrend. And then we will explain this by giving you a typical depiction of what an uptrend and then what a downtrend is. An uptrend basically means that what the market is going upwards. And then if we talk of a downtrend as well, we are basically saying that what the market is overall going down. One thing you need to understand as a trader is that the market doesn't go all the way up and it doesn't go all the way down. But what happens is it actually moves in waves. It means that you normally have an up, down, up, down formation. You have an up, down, up, down formation. What does it mean? You have something like an up, down, just up, down, up, down formation like this. This is the waves I'm talking about. This is the waves I am talking about. And then for the downtrend as well, you also have, like I said, an up, down, up, down formation on the downtrend as well. So once you have this happening, you realize that it's going all the way down but it's not as smooth as you might see it. It just keeps going. It pulls back, then it goes again, pulls back, then it goes again. This is how we typically mean by an uptrend and then a downtrend. So we have various turning points, which is up and then down. You realize I said it's a higher, high, higher, low formation. So the turning points at the bottom are lows. Turning points at the top are all highs. So this is a low. So we simply label the turning points. We have turning points at the bottom as lows. And then we have turning points at the top as well, highs. So if you look at the charts, you realize that now we have all the highs at the top, all the lows at the bottom. And you realize that as the market moves, each new high is higher than the previous high, higher than previous high, higher than previous high. Each new low as well is also what? Higher than the previous low. So this is what we simply mean by a higher high and then what? A higher low formation. I'm sure you've seen what an uptrend is on so many times on the market. You can actually identify it, but being able to explain it might be difficult for you. So today you should actually know what an uptrend is by simply identifying the highs and then lows and then knowing that as the market moves, each new turning point is basically higher than the previous turning point. The exact opposite goes for a downtrend as well. So if you look at a downtrend, you have the initial high, initial low, but as the market keeps moving, what do you see? Each new high is lower than the previous high. Each new low is lower than the previous low. So in summary, a downtrend is any trend which has what we call a lower high and then a lower low formation. Now on to the main trend strategy I use for beginners. This is what I call the trend continuation strategy. What basically happens with this trend continuation strategy is that you are actually looking to keep buying as the market keeps going in an uptrend and then you also want to keep selling as the market keeps what dropping in a downtrend this is a simply one of the simplest strategies you can actually use as a beginner and it works a lot on the lower time frames it means that basically the highest time frame you should apply this on is the four hour so if you're on the one hour time frame if you're on the 15 minutes time frame if you're on the 30 minutes time frame or the four hour time frame this strategy is something you actually want to implement what it basically means is that you are looking to take a buy here with your stop loss right at the bottom because you are expecting the higher high higher low formation to keep going. So now you take your buy, if it goes up and comes back down and you see another consolidation and another reversal as a new higher low form, it means that you're also looking to take another buy. If it keeps going and then it goes back and then comes back to hit that same trend again, creates another what higher low, consolidates, start reversing, and you're taking another trade there. That is what it basically means by the trend continuation strategy. I'll use a few examples to explain them for you then the opposite you have your initial low initial high if the market drops and it pulls back to where the low was and it gives you another what lower high there and you see it consolidates and then starts dropping what does it also mean trend continuation strategy you are expecting it to keep going in that same direction it drops pulls back again you are looking for another trade here drops 
pulls back again you're also looking for another trade it drops pulls back again you're also looking for another trade here so for a beginner this is one of the easiest ways to be able to catch trades there are so many times where especially on the jpy pairs this is an easy strategy you can actually use to take some quick day trades make some fast money for yourself so let's go to a few examples look at a few jpy pairs and I use them to explain this particular strategy in detail so if you look at usd jpy you can clearly see that the market was what in a downtrend from here all the way down here and then it started an uptrend as well from down here all the way up here right after ranging in here it started dropping again we're going to look at how we can easily identify the uptrend here with a lower high lower low formation we just talked about and then how we can also clearly depict the uptrend with a higher high and then a higher low formation and how you can easily use these strategies to actually take your continuation trades you realize that we had our initial low here initial high here as well then what do you see the market went all the way down gave us what we call a lower low then it came up here to give us what a lower high which we clearly saw then it kept continuing going lower low, low, lower high lower low lower high it went all the way down lower low then it came to give us a lower high here all the way down lower low came to give us what we call a lower high here then it went all the way down as you can clearly see here we remember what we said about the trend reversal the trend reversals are all the way here so at this lower high you can take your cell at this lower high you can look for your cell at this lower high entries for a cell lower high entries for a cell lower high another entries for a cell but you are still paying attention to your consolidation and then the candlesticks to help you get good entries on this particular trade if it goes all the way here we try to look at this uptrend what do we see the exact opposite of what happened on the downtrend initial low so what do we have now initial high so what do we have higher low higher high higher low higher high higher low then we ended up getting a lower high here so it started giving us some sort of downtrend it almost gave us an indication it was about to create a downtrend here because it gave us this what lower high then what happened it went back to give us a higher high then give us a higher low then it continued the trend in that format all the way up the only way this new trend that you saw forming here which was really brief would have actually ended up really really proving itself to be a downtrend was if it actually created another lower high if it doesn't create another lower high and it creates a higher high it means that you are now expecting it to continue and then you now just come and apply your trend reversals at the bottom trend reversals at the bottom to take your trades so as a beginner one of the easiest strategies you can actually use to take your trades is basically your trend continuation strategy same applies for all currency pairs as well but like i said the number one pair that really really does that are the jpy pairs so if you want to apply it on any pair and you see the market going in one direction for a very long time all you want to do is to apply your trend continuation strategy there because the market is much more likely to keep going than to reverse in any particular trend so once you've understood your trend continuation strategy another way you can actually take trades as a beginner is with chart patterns and it's one of the easiest ways to actually catch trades as a beginner so i'll be showing you a few of the chart patterns that i really really use the ones i use extremely regularly but the very first one which is the most important chart pattern you've heard of is what we call the double top and then the double bottom pattern any pattern which looks like this so if you have some sort of the m pattern or the w pattern so the w pattern is basically what we call the double bottom the m pattern is what we call the double top the trading decision you are making when you have a double top is that you are looking for a sell somewhere here and then for the double bottom you are looking for a buy as well somewhere here with your stop loss right at the bottom of the range stop loss right at the top of the range so it can be on any currency pair any time frame like i said i'm sure you've seen so many examples of pattern like this on the chat the best times to actually trade double tops or double bottoms is when the market has been in what we call an overextended move all it basically means is that it has actually been in an uptrend or a downtrend for a very long time if you look at this downtrend we got here the one we basically explained how I was able to exactly know that it was about to be a downtrend is that it was at the end of an uptrend which started all the way here to up here which was what another example of an overextended move 13 July 2023 ended up at what 1st November 2023 which was how many months about five strong months so you see it drop that right after it drops what it does is it gives you a double top so you can clearly see your end pattern happen here before it eventually starts giving you what we call the lower high and then the lower low before it goes all the way down so one way you can know that the market is about to change direction from an uptrend to a downtrend is 
with a double top. So this is one of the best ways you can actually take trades as a beginner by applying the double top concept. But the best times to do that is when you have an overextended what run. With a double bottom, what do we see? You are looking for a buy at the bottom. I also want an overextended run for this one as well. Where do I get this? At the end of a downtrend. At this downtrend, we have what we call a lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. Then look at what happened right at the end of the move. You ended up getting what we call a double bottom. So right after the double bottom, we now started getting what higher highs and then higher lows. And now the market started going up. In summary, this is also what the best time is to actually take advantage of double bottoms. So this is the very first and then the most popular chart pattern you found. But I'm sure the hack I've given you today will be extremely, extremely helpful for you in your trading. Then the next one we also want are basically the wedge formations. It can either be the rising wedge or the falling wedge. With this one, some people call it flat patterns. But one thing I've always said about trading is that paying attention to how it looks on the chart is much more relevant than knowing the name of the concept you are using to trade. So for me, how I draw my rising wedge is this way. Once you get a long drop this way, what the market does is the market starts ascending as if it's giving you some sort of uptrend. Then it eventually breaks on the downside. So the wedge we get here is what I call the rising wedge because it almost feels like it's giving you an uptrend. Then it eventually breaks on the downside. What happens is we are mostly trying to trade the breakout. And I remember the concepts I taught you when I explained what a breakout is. If you do not remember, go back and watch my breakout video. So once you, we get our breakout here and we see the market also break the support here, what it basically means is that we are looking to what sell at the bottom of this range, stop loss right on top of here, then it goes all the way down for us. Then the falling wedge is basically the opposite of this. So when do you want to see a falling wedge happen at the end of a long rise? So you have the market now trending downwards as if it's about to drop and go all the way down trending downwards before it eventually breaks so the wedge you have which is some sort of downtrend indicating that the market is about to drop is what i like to call the falling wedge because it's actually dropping down as you can clearly see in this particular instance as well so what do we also need we also want to see what happens exactly when the market breaks this particular what resistance so now let's take a few examples of the rising wedge and then the falling wedge as well one more secret as to why i'm able to go back to all these charts all these pairs as far back as a year ago six months ago is because of back testing so you also want to go back watch my back testing video and then understand in detail so if you look here you can clearly see a downtrend happen right after what this long buy right after the long bullish run you had here you ended up getting what we call a falling wedge so this falling wedge basically means that now what do you have up down up down up down then it eventually what broke out we had one on gpp jp where along the same time as so remember the date 10th of january or something this was 18th of january so if you look at this you can clearly see i also had what falling wedge happening right at the end of the falling wedge breakout of the resistance trade the breakout candle all the way up break retest still goes all the way up and you make some quick money for yourself so rise up down trend break to the upside and it goes all the way up so this is what we simply mean by a falling wedge then for the rising wedge let can clearly see the rising wedge as well on this pair the same january rose uptrend drop gave us another one uptrend then drop then i think if you go all the way back to i think is it me or me or june you realize that what helps me in my analysis you remember what i said what the secret i gave you about trading view everything you draw stays on here so you realize that all my key levels all my zones are still here then you also have what a drop consolidate give you some sort of uptrend then it breaks on the downside then the very last thing we're going to do which i've talked about in so many of my videos the bullish continuation and then the bearish continuation chart pattern then the very last thing we want to do before we leave here today is the bullish continuation and then the bearish continuation pattern as well all you need for a bullish continuation is that you normally want to have a strong rise right after the strong rise the market will consolidate minimum three candles four candles whatever and it breaks to the upside then with the bearish continuation as well you have the market drop then it consolidates for a while then it breaks to the downside so if you look here you can clearly see one happening on here right after this long drop it consolidated nicely continued again give another long drop consolidated nicely drop to the downside then the bullish continuation was the opposite here right after this long rise 
it consolidated nicely and it broke to the upside. This is all you need. So as a beginner, you realize that today I've given you a complete blueprint as to how you can also start analyzing the market with the various tools I have in my arsenal. I've given you strategies, I've explained how candlesticks work, I've taught you the main platform to use for your charting, I've told you what charting is, I've also explained to you how candlesticks came about, how they operate, how to apply them, how to read candlesticks. This is all you need in your trading arsenal as a beginner. So today was a complete beginner guide to technical analysis. And I want to thank you for sticking with me from start to finish. So if you need me to make more videos like this, you know what to do. I need you to like this video, hit that subscribe button, share with as many struggling beginner traders you know as possible. I also want you to hit that notification bell so you get notified anytime I go live or anytime I drop a video on YouTube. You also want to keep up with me on my socials, Common Forex on Instagram, Common Forex on Telegram, Common Forex on TikTok, Common Forex on X as well. Also hit the link in my description to also sign up with my recommended broker with the best trading conditions, tight express, 24-7 customer service, as well as instant deposits and everything as you've seen on all my social media platforms then lastly you also want to hit that link in my description to also join my trading community on telegram where i have like-minded traders i'm grooming to be amazing snipers on the market as well thank you for tuning in today see you in the next one